Turning to other news now, a Buffalo family is mourning the loss of their loved one who police say died while crossing a busy highway in Erie, Pennsylvania last week. And News 4 Shannon Smith spoke with the family tonight. She joins us with how they're asking for the community's help now. Shannon? Well, Don and Jackie, investigators say 18-year-old Mary Howard was hit and killed while crossing four lanes of traffic on Perry Highway in Summit Township, Pennsylvania. Her family, who's here in Buffalo, says she shouldn't have been out there in the first place. Now they're raising money to bring her body back home. We've been fighting for Mary since day one. Olivia Howard says her family is full of fighters. She says her younger sister Mary has shown her strength since the day she was born. Mary was definitely a fighter. She was pretty loving. She just really wanted to make people happy. Mary was born with fetal alcohol syndrome and developed several physical and mental disabilities. She had to wear leg braces. Her legs were kind of turned in. She had open heart surgery when she was a baby and um, she had dentures in her mouth. She wasn't a normal 18-year-old. The 18-year-old was hit and killed by a pickup truck while walking across Route 97 just after 8.30 at night in Summit Township, Pennsylvania last week. Investigators say she crossed four lanes of traffic before being hit. Howard questions why her sister was even out there. She was only 18, so she didn't deserve any of this. Um, and she had her whole life ahead of her, but... Now she's gone. She says her sister was out asking for donations for an organization called Stop the Bullying. Howard says she found these signs and stickers at the crash site. The family created a fundraiser to help bring Mary's body back to Buffalo. We fought to go and get her body in PA. We fought to stop her body from being donated to science. We fought to bring her home. Despite the pain, Howard says Mary's death has inspired her to keep fighting. It's kind of motivated me because I just feel like, wow, life's too short. You know what I'm saying? I thought I had a lot more time with my sister. I'm told a memorial service is planned for next week, and you can find a link to the family's fundraiser on our website, WIVB.com. Shannon Smith, News 4.